There seems to be a trend these days for manufacturers to push for higher and higher refresh rates amongst their top tier gaming panels. The Acer XP27-1HU and Asus PG27-9Q that we reviewed earlier on this month are both capable of running up to a very impressive 165Hz, beating out both of Acer's and Asus's previous iterations by 21Hz. The question on our tongues though is, can you even tell the difference between 144 and 165Hz? So we conducted an experiment, for science of course. To make this as consistent as possible, we firstly had to find a first person shooter game that would run at 165 FPS consistently, and apart from Counter Strike, this was actually a fairly difficult task, even with two GTX 980 Ti's. We couldn't even get Far Cry Primal to run over the 140 mark at 1080p, which begs the question how often would you even get up to 165Hz anyway, but that's a story for the end of the video. The way in which the test will be set up is to select three test subjects, that being myself, Alex and Caleb who are retail consultants at the store. From there one of us will select either a 165 or 144Hz refresh rate cap unbeknownst to the person using the monitor. They would then test the panel report their conclusion as to what refresh rate they thought it was, and then would repeat the whole process 5 times each. Each of us has varying degrees of exposure to high refresh rates, Caleb uses a 120Hz panel at home, I use 60Hz but have had high refresh rate panels in the past, and Alex has only ever tested its monitors above 60Hz here at work. So we've got contenders from all over the spectrum. So without any further preamble, let's get testing. I knew this was going to be very difficult to compare. Um, it's hard. To... Oh man, this is hard. I regret doing this test now. Can't really tell the difference. I'm going to guess 144. 144 would be my guess. I'd say 165. Yeah? Yeah. Is that your final answer? That is my final answer. <laughs> I'm going to go with 165 on that one. It's pretty smooth. I reckon it's still 165. Yeah, this, this instantly seems a little bit more fluid. Maybe I'm imagining it, but to me it's just it's Yeah, I want to say 165. Right. It's a lot better. It's smooth. Yeah. Yeah. It's smooth. Yeah. Yeah. It's hard to say, but I'd say exactly the same. Yeah. Yeah. I reckon it's 144. You think it's 144? Yeah. So there's not much difference. Oh, I don't know. I want to say 144, but like, it's still really smooth. I think we can all agree on that. But we'll go with one... 144. That feels the same. Feels the same. No, 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 now, now it doesn't. Now it feels like the first time. It feels more like 144. Yeah, 144. Yeah. That's the way to France. Go. 165. You smoother? Yeah, it's way smoother. Feels smoother. Like how they pop up. When, yeah, it's when like a little shooting range. Well, not, not even that, like when you shoot them, they go bing. I think it's still 165. <laughs> Very hard to tell, but yeah. I would say this is 144. This feels like 144. Yeah, 144. I think that's 165. Definitely hard to tell the difference. Very hard to tell. There is very minimal difference between them. <laughs> I'd say that's 144. That's fine. <laughs> it's all good. There's two candles. Yes. Yeah, one here and one there. <laughs> I'd say 144. I'll say 144. 
this is hard. Yeah, I know. This is extremely difficult. I'm second guessing my previous... That's been done. I'm second guessing my previous guesses now because this definitely feels less fluid. Um, yeah, I'm going to say 144. We're now 144. You reckon it's running at 1.4? Yeah. Why not? Yeah. Lock it in. Got a pun, right? Oh, <laughs> I'm <laughs> on. So what do we learn from all of this? Well, that surprisingly some people can actually distinguish between 144 and 165 hertz, something which going into this I really didn't think was possible. Also that users who have more experience with higher refresh rate panels understandably are better able to more consistently determine between the two. Nathan and Alex who haven't really had much time with panels that operate over 60 hertz had trouble differentiating between the two. Myself and Caleb, however, while we were able to tell the difference, it required an immense amount of concentration and even then we weren't 100% sure of our choices all the time. The takeouts from this really being that while yes, some people will be able to tell the difference, the impact on your gameplay experience is really quite minimal. We all agreed that while your gameplay experience will differ drastically between 60Hz to 120Hz, anything really over that is subject to the law of diminishing returns. One other thing I'd like to mention is that to be able to run a game consistently at 165Hz, not just hit it occasionally when playing, is a really demanding task at 1440p. It required two GTX 980 Ti's and having to choose a game that was released not only in 2011, but is known to scale well with SLI configurations. The only games where I see you really hitting 165 hits consistently are games such as Counter-Strike, Insurgency, Battlefield 3, uh, and so on, providing you have the hardware to do so. What we'd like to know now though are your thoughts. Can you tell the difference between 144 and 165 hertz and is going above 144 hertz an important factor for you? For myself, I'd be equally as happy running a panel at 100 hertz or 165 hertz, but that's my own personal preference. That wraps it up for me guys. Thank you very much for watching. This is Matt from Computer Lounge, signing out.